Hey guys, Ben here with Reclaim Living. Well, I've been working on my uh, kitchen floor for over a week now. I stripped everything down to the wood. Some of it I left because I'm, I've, uh, I've had a few things that I, I wanted to, do, uh, to experiment on. And uh, uh, after I stripped it and sanded it and, uh, and kind of uh, thinned it all out, I, uh, I use a method of, uh, of graying out the wood, okay? Uh, there are a few ways you can do it uh, where steel wool, vinegar, and water. One to one part vinegar and water where uh, you could actually leave the steel wool in the vinegar and water and uh, it'll turn gray. There's a reaction there with the uh, vinegar and the steel wool. Now I did it a little differently uh, and I'm going to show you how I got there. Okay, so this is what the floor looked like before I started uh, working on it and stripping it down to the wood. Okay, uh, let me show you where we're at. This is what it looks like now. Okay, it, it, it's a process I've used with, uh, with the steel wool and vinegar to gray it all out first. Then I would sand it. Okay, let me show you the stain that I did use. Okay, I first came back with uh, this stain. Let me show you this. This is the first stain I came back with. It's called Sun Bleached by Verithane. Okay, I put that on it and uh, I wasn't uh, satisfied with it. So I wanted to uh, whitewash it a bit more. And then I came back with an antique white to finish it off. And after that, I light sanded it. And this is basically what I got. And I'm very happy with it. I like the way it looks with everything going on. Okay, and uh, that's where I'm at right now. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do today. These three rows here in between the blue all the way down is a threshold between the kitchen floor and my uh, living room. So these are the old reclaimed uh, flooring that I picked up about a year and a half ago. Okay, I put it in there. It's all fine right now. And I, uh, as you can see here, it goes down quite a bit because I didn't want to stub anybody's toes. Okay, so it's been sanded down. Uh, and also I uh, planed it to uh, bring it together here. This is still wet. I'm going to use the same process, and I'm going to get going on that. Okay, so here we are. I have my steel wool right here. Okay, and uh, I have a bucket of 50-50 uh, vinegar and water. Okay, and you need to wear gloves. And as I said before, uh, there is a way to just dump dunk this and uh, it'll turn gray but I do it a different way I take it and I just go inside and I start wiping it onto the wood as is and you'll see as I'm doing it the more I do it the darker it's gonna get and the water and uh, vinegar is gonna get darker also I'll show you that in a little while. Right now I'm just laying it on there, getting things started. You'll see right now it's starting to get a little gray already. Take a look at that. In a little while I'll show you it'll be even darker, almost black. Okay, so here we go. I'm just wiping it on lightly, not going crazy with it, just to get it started.
The more I wipe it, the darker it's gonna get because the stainless, uh, I mean the steel wool is, is starting to uh, break down. Okay. I'm gonna go over it a couple of times, come back with the steel wool, and uh, I'll show you the bucket. How dark it's getting already. Even after uh, a minute or so, you'll see the changes. And the more I rub, the darker it's gonna get. Now let me show it to you now. See how quickly it's getting darker? Okay. Okay, I'll go back here again. Get nice and wet. You notice as I'm rubbing it, the more I'm rubbing it, the darker it's going to get. And the uh, vinegar and water is almost black. So, gotta work it, gotta rub it, and get it into the grain. This is basically going to be a base for me. Basically a base. Isn't that special? All right. Here we go. Okay. Just keep rubbing it in. In the grain, Jack. Gotta get in the grain. There you go. Coming back here because it wasn't that dark, and uh, it's going to get dark in a little while. I'll show it to you. Okay, I'm done with that. Just want to show you the water. It's just about black. Okay, and that's it. That's how I do it. Okay, so as you can see gotten much darker and it's still wet I'm gonna let it dry on its own and then I'm gonna come back and light sand it because anytime you put uh, water something mixed with water it raises the grain you want to get it down smoothen it, it out and then I'll come back with uh, another stain I want to show you as it's drying how it's getting gray and you can kind of compare that to what I did here and that's why I did this first it's kind of like my foundation before I uh, work uh, before I sand it actually and then I will apply a stain so I just started sanding. As you can see, I'm trying to bring the grains out a little bit before I put uh, my first stain down. So of course, I'm drying it out this way and uh, smoothing it out to get it ready. And then I'm going to clean it up and apply the first stain. Okay. Second process is done. The sun bleach stain. Has been rubbed in along with the brush. As you can see, it's a little darker. On the floor next to it. 
And that's because I will be uh, using another stain, which is uh, antique white, to finish it off. And then light sand after that. And it should uh, look the same. Okay, now that uh, the gray uh, sun bleach stain is dried, I'm uh, putting down the uh, antique white. And I'm going to uh, blend it all together. Get that down. Wipe on, wipe off. Okay. As you can see right there, just with that alone, if you can compare it to what's next to it, it looks pretty darn close. I'm going to do that to the rest of it here, all the way down. Then I'll wait about an hour or so for it to dry. And then I may do, give it a light sand. Or I'll wait till tomorrow to do that. Then it'll be ready for the clear coat finish. Okay, I just put down the antique white. And as you can see, the color is getting pretty close to what's going on in the kitchen here. The biggest difference is that I will sand this when it dries and uh, that's when you'll start seeing some of the, uh, the grains in the wood. So I'm going to take this off just to uh, kind of give you an idea of where we're going. Okay so here it is with the mask and tape off. As you can see to the left you can see more grains and uh, more color of the wood. Okay, so I think I'm done with the floor. I uh, I stained it, uh, my last stain, which was the antique white, and then I waited uh, till the next day and I sanded everything lightly to take some off so that you could see the grains and take a look at it. It's supposed to look weathered, sun bleached. Uh, it's supposed to look older. And let me show you as I go into the uh, into the uh, dining area. So basically, I kind of did the same thing here. And uh, when I put a clear coat down, which I did in the corner here. You can see that uh, the color, it's a different color, of course, but the value, I would say, is pretty close. So that part has a clear coating on it where this over here does not. And that's why it looks much lighter. So let me show you. Here it is with the clear coating, one clear coating. And that's it. So basically we're... We're at that point where I'm going to uh, put some a polyurethane coat on it and be done with it.